Cedar Ferris Kings Island, formerly known as Paramount Kings Island, is a world-renowned amusement park in Mason, Ohio, just 24 miles northeast of Cincinnati. It opened its gates in 1972, and for the last 50 years, it's been one of the Buckeye State's top tourist draws. With 14 top-rated steel and wooden roller coasters, Kings Island has routinely found itself on industry best-of lists. So if you're passing through Ohio and looking for something exciting to do with your friends and family, you have no excuse not to pay a visit to Kings Island. So keep watching to learn about the best rides at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. The Beast. We'll go ahead and get this one out of the way, since it's commonly considered one of the park's best and most iconic rides. The Beast set the record for being the tallest, fastest, and longest wooden coaster in the world when it opened in 1979. Almost half a century later, it's still the world's longest, spanning 7,300 feet across 35 acres. The Beast features two lift hills and has a duration of more than four minutes. For many years, the Beast was considered to be the ride at Kings Island, but due to its advancing age, it got to be quite rough and was prone to frequent closures. In 2022, however, it was given an overhaul to bring it back to its original glory. And we've got to give it to them. The Beast is still every bit as glorious as it was back in the day. That being said, fast wooden coasters are always a bit bumpy. So if you're not okay with getting jostled around a bit, you might want to consider riding one of the park's many smooth-as-butter steel coasters instead. Orion Speaking of smooth coasters, Kings Island's most recent addition, Orion, is one of the finest of its kind in the world. Sure, there might be a couple of faster and taller coasters out there, but this one, much like its cousin Millennium Force over at Cedar Point, is downright exhilarating. It stands at 287 feet tall and features a massive 300-foot first drop. After taking that initial plunge, riders reach a top speed of 91 miles an hour. And like we said, there are a few coasters out there technically taller and faster, such as Cedar Point's Top Thrill Dragster, but Orion is still incredibly impressive. In fact, it's one of just seven other giga coasters in the world. A giga coaster is defined as a roller coaster with a height or drop of at least 300 feet. Also of note is the fact that Orion doesn't have any inversions. Instead, its real bread and butter is all of its airtime hills and silky smooth banked turns. Plus, the sci-fi theming around the Area 72 area where the ride can be found is terrific. We've never had more fun standing in a line than waiting to ride Orion. When you first hop in line, you'll spot signs saying things like needing test subjects for the Orion project. You'll then go through a faux body scan as you walk into the Hangar 20 entrance building. Before getting to the loading platform, you'll pass through a science lab that sets the stage for what you're in. Banshee, calling all inverted roller coaster fans. Banshee is a giant red and blue inverted coaster that can be seen just about anywhere in the park. It features two vertical loops, a pretzel knot, a dive loop, and a low gravity roll. You'll reach a top speed of 68 miles an hour after plummeting down a 150 foot drop. This coaster is also quite lengthy with over 4,100 feet of track and a ride duration of over two and a half minutes because go big or go home, right? Banshee opened to the public in 2014 and has since been one of the most popular rides at the park. But don't worry, if you hit a up early in the day, wait times are still relatively low as the ride can handle a pretty substantial turnover. The Racer The Racer is pretty much your quintessential wooden coaster, but with a little twist. It owes its name to the fact that it's really two coasters in one. Sitting side by side at the loading area are two mirrored trains and sets of tracks that race each other to the finish. Throughout the two-minute ride, riders reach a top speed of 53 miles an hour while traversing 3,400 feet of track. There are numerous bunny-hopping airtime hills as well to keep you glued to the top of your lap bar. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Invertigo. As its name implies, Invertigo is an inverted shuttle roller coaster designed under the traditional boomerang model. Originally named Face Off, riders sit back to back, resulting in all rows facing each other. Invertigo reaches a top speed of 50 miles per hour, while riders experience up to 5 Gs of gravitational force. Throughout the ride, you'll sling through three inversions with a ride duration of a minute and 30 seconds. Is it our favorite coaster at the park? No, but it's a great one to check out when wait times are high on everything else. We've never had to wait more than 30 minutes to ride this coaster, and it's still a ton of fun.
Diamondback. More than a decade after its opening, Diamondback still remains one of Kings Island's most popular coasters. And to be honest, it might be our favorite. Don't get us wrong, it's hard to compare these things, but Diamondback has a special kind of magic that gets us going every time we hop aboard. This thing might not be quite as mind-bogglingly tall as Orion, but standing at 235 feet tall with a 215-foot drop and max speed of 80 miles an hour is still pretty amazing. Really, anything over 200 feet is pretty astonishing when you consider the engineering that went into getting these kinds of coasters up and running. Another feature that makes Diamondback so cool is the water splashdown at the end. On a hot summer day, there's no better way to cool down than taking a ride on this behemoth. Once again, you probably won't have to wait too long to get to the loading area as Diamondback seems to load quickly and dispatch trains often. That's one thing we really love about Kings Island and really all of Cedar Fair's parks. They seem to have gotten the whole loading and unloading capacity thing down pat. Mystic Timbers Last but not least is this monster of a wooden coaster. Mystic Timbers maintains blisteringly fast speeds throughout the entire ride, clocking in at just under 55 miles per hour. Its first drop is 98 feet tall, and the ride has a length of 3,200 feet. In 2017, Amusement Park Today awarded Mystic Timbers with their Best New Ride Award, and we agree. While it might not be Kings Island's top dog, it's still one of the best wooden coasters we've ever ridden. The ride's finale element is one of its biggest selling points. After twisting and riding through the wooded countryside, you'll arrive at an enclosed shed where you'll learn the sinister secret of what the fantasy horror film-inspired theming has been leading up to. But we won't spoil it for you. To find out what the fuss is all about, you'll have to ride it and see for yourself. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you planning to ride the coasters at Kings Island? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.